¿Qué pasa, señores? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué tal? Bienvenidos al canal, bienvenidos, de verdad lo digo. Eh, es un bonito canal, la verdad. El final ya está aquí, de, de Deimos. Hemos acabado una parte muy larga de la saga. Espero que no voy a contar nada más, pero la historia es muy trágica, la verdad. Si no quieres ver spoilers, no lo veas, suscríbete, te lo juegas y te lo ves el vídeo. Pero vamos, si te gusta ver estas imágenes, esta historia, me ha encantado, la verdad. La segunda parte del final. Y gracias por el apoyo del vídeo que me ha organizado de primera parte de este juego. Y nada, vamos a empezar ahora a buscar los artefactos de la Atlántida. Que ya eso es otra historia, pero muchísimas gracias. Así que de verdad lo digo, sigue así, os quiero de verdad. Tenéis, espera, tenéis toda la descripción eh, mi, a mis amigos. María, tu cachero, Jorge, Sergio y mi primo. Y mi libro y mi Instagram, que os llegará mi... Si vais a pinchar en Instagram, te llegáis a seguirme, mi última foto, me apoyáis y si queréis jugar conmigo a Fortnite y tener un video para vuestro contenido, yo lo hago encantado. Así que nada. Disfrutar, de verdad lo digo, disfrutar de, de esta mini historia, de la historia principal del juego. Y vamos a seguir jugando a este juego porque aún queda bastante. Estoy contento, pero contento, contento, contento. Os quiero de verdad. Si sois sensibles, coges una cajita de pañuelos y ya. Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person, someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. <laughs> the
That was a great display of rhetoric. The people will be unable to deny what they heard. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. It'll be a disaster! A disaster, I tell you! Calm down! What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations! But I need you! I am no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. You don't look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Axenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure, that's all? I just follow the Commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Do something worthwhile and join my crew. You're loyal, and you follow orders. You take me? What do you say? To get away from Athens? Thank you. Thank you. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So, he's not working now? Yes, he's not working. I like him, though. Aristophanes, funny man. But the opinions told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are his not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Go take your boys somewhere else. You will regret that. Get going. From your smell, you already know where the goat pens are. I'm sure they miss you. Meh. I's not Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You need to sober up. This play is important. So say Caterini. I need my muse. Please. She's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Then I will... I, I will gather my... I uh, was a good idea.
not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespi said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. I thought you were Thespis's great love. That is love. This is commerce. So, what are you into? No, Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Rexenor has made it clear. It would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Rexenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword, as proof. I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then... Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant, but as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change, for the better. I can see there is more in your eyes, but we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Rexenor and Cleon. He's fine, and he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods! I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice.
and for our children if Cleon should perish. You also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! Gee! He treats us like old daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas! The conspirators are murdering me! Ah, ah, ooh, ee, oh, ee, ah, ooh, oh. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Cleon dies now. This is our chance. The plan is already working. Death should be brought early, even to someone like Cleon. He's exactly the type death should come early to. Not all who live deserve to grow old, Socrates. And you decide who deserves it? This time, I do. Ah. Then, safe travels. Brasidas, you're here. You got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you all right? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. This is our chance, Brasidas. We kill Cleon today. If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were raised Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I came here, didn't I? We're fighting the same fight. You haven't proven that. Let me prove it now. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. We I... need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka.
Cassandra, come now. Show mercy. You turned him against us. My own brother. We lifted Themos up. We made him great, unstoppable. You made him a monster. Then fight by his side. Teach him. You would have Themos once again. His name is Alexios. I beg you, this world is severed, Cassandra, and we'll unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. You will die just as you lived. Uh, as a coward. I'm not through. I won't be forgotten for all I've done. Uh. You're not worth the memory. That's it then. Irini will want to know Cleon is dead. On so long, Brasidas is dead. No. Themos killed him in battle. And what of my son? Cleon fired an arrow into Themos' back. Wound didn't look fatal. He could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mother, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taietus, where it all began. My whole life has been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. Alexios! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Alexios, please. You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your son. Alexios. Come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home. <laughs> the cult is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promise to bring him back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned his mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a... Broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You are just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out 
What you are to me. You're a weed. Trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted. And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Alexios? Was little. I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in the world of beasts. A family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. My destiny is clear. And I won't let you get in my way. Alexios, listen to me. You are my brother. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I will not fail again. This belonged to our grandfather. You're home now. I've done terrible things. We all have, Alexius. You can't protect anyone, can you? Maybe we both should have died here that day. But... Ah, no! The gods are cruel.
Welcome back. Thank you for inviting us over. Stentor, can you pass the wine? All out. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? It'll never be the same. I thought it could, but it'll take some work. It's impossible to see through the gods' eyes. They have a plan, you know. If we could, then we'd know just what to do. I don't think the gods can take credit for this one, Varnavas. An urn is only as strong as its potter, Cassandra. Urns are pretty easy to break. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Cassandra took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see? That would shoot a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To moving forward, we'll leave the past behind. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> than this fishy thing. Why shouldn't I be sour, huh? My no-good son sailed off with my boat and should have been back hours ago. Probably showing off for that Mytilini girl. Ugh. God, smell. Of course your son ran away. Doubt he'll come back. Choke on goat dung. I can leave. Mm. Oh, second thought. Would you fetch my lazy son? He's at Fisherman's Bay. An easy errand for fair pay. I'll do it. Good. You find him, and I'll turn his hide. Let's quit chatting so I can go find your son. See that you do. I'll pay you, and then my boy's hide will pay for taking my boat out.